Hello, people, and welcome back to some more Metroid Prime 2 Echoes with Robert Link. Hello. So, where we left off, we got the Light of Aether from the Dark Aegon Temple. And, and we defeated Amorbus. Yep. And got ourselves the Dark Suit. And I disappeared, so you can't see here. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking, but you can't see because the cinematic just doesn't render me. We. Ah, boy. Like, help, I've been disintegrated. Okay. Help, I've been reintegrated. Alright, so now we just need to go back to the normal Aegon Temple and return the light of Aether. Because the Luminoth are counting on me. On us, whatever. But, but what about the egg? Don't don't they matter? You're eliminating a whole species basically by doing this. Nah, that'd be if I got all the light of aether, maybe. But there's just one. But isn't that the plan to get all of it? Yeah, what of it? What do you want the ink to hug you or something? To thank you? They could have families, you know. And dreams and aspirations of killing everyone and conquering the world. I mean, I didn't say those dreams were good for everyone. Are they good for you somehow or something? <laughs> no. Eh, the tree. Stop blocking me. There we go. Nope, there's still one. We're almost there. Huh. I wonder what's in those other rooms that I saw on the mini map in that arena area. Mm, they're probably for later. Hmm. It's like I could go exploring, but it might just lead to dead ends. Right. We'll get we'll get to them eventually. Indeed. Watch off. I didn't quite get the timing down, but whatever. The light of aether compels you. So the light of aether is energy, right? Various kinds of energy. That somehow like stabilizes the entire planet. Yep. And you can just carry a fraction of it on you with no problem. I guess. It requires <laughs> alien technology to do it. True. Meanwhile, elsewhere. I really wish I had more light. <laughs> oh, thank you. Just why I needed to brighten my day. Energy transfer complete. This temple's energy has been restored. I like how he, uh, his hologram appeared and he bowed to you when you weren't even facing him. Alright, so... Where to now? We go back to the Great Temple to talk to Yumas, to tell him we fixed a thing. Alright. Only one thing, though. Still got more work to do. All right, so we'll be back. All righty, we're back. So I think I can move this thing now. I don't know if there's any point in going through here yet, 
but I'll do try it anyways. I think there's also another one near our ship. Oh yeah. But I don't think I need that one yet. So we're just going to take a quick detour, see what there is to see. Hello, Dark World. How are you? Hmm. That's new. Don't care what it says, though. Alright, so I think we're actually immune to these things as poison. Oh, that's nice. So, now we just drain at the slow rate, even if we're near them. Bio scan complete. Luminoth subject expired 3.8 decacycles ago. Target has numerous breaches in its armor. Exposure to a toxic organic pathogen led to his demise. So clearly he did not have protection to the ink claws poison. Apparently not. This is a collection of mutated ink worms. Bioforms have been bred for massive size. It appears the ing use these creatures to block access to areas. Oh. Instead of an elevator, it's a missile expansion. Right in front of a blocked elevator, I assume. Are you trying to ambush me now? Get light beamed. Ugh. Excuse me. And yes, this is still the same session where I am sick. Was that a firework? I don't know. I heard a boom. I don't know if it came up on the recording. <laughs> okay, I don't think there's anything else we can do here for now. Just a missile expansion. Alrighty, now. Back back to you, Moss. Actually, one thing I want to... Oops. Oh, got the hive anyways. I want to check real quick. What is that connected to? Uh, yeah, let's see you can get to it. Yay. Looks like all I need was probably the double jump. Pretty much. No. Don't worry, you mouse, we're on our way. And that totally does not send us flying into the ceiling. I was thinking about mentioning that. Okay. So yeah, these are the things I mentioned we already scanned here that make the light bubble if they're in the dark world. Hmm. Stop going out of my target range. Okay. Oh, and, uh, so these things, I'm pretty sure we scan them already and such, but, uh, so I think it's implied that that's, those are all the stasis pods for the rest of the Luminoth race, so they're protected while they're in hibernation, while Umos is watching over them. Because they're that desperate. Yeah, and until we came along, he was probably praying for a miracle. Which arrived in the form of Samus. Hey, you must, bro. Your savior's back. Come on, praise me. Check out this cool outfit I got. I thank you for restoring energy to the Temple of Agon. Your valor honors the Luminoth, those who have passed, and those who remain here. 
under my protection as they sleep in deep stasis. Okay, so you did mention it. Hmm. Be on guard, for the Ing do not suffer defeat lightly. They will surely seek revenge for your actions. With the energy lost from the desert region, they will increase their efforts in other lands. I have detected unusual amounts of ing activity in the Torvus sector. The enemy is on the move. The swamplands of Torvus are treacherous and can hinder you considerably. Bear this in mind when you move through the bog. Seek the Temple of Torvus. More knowledge awaits you there. May the light of Aether serve you well. Okay. On to Tarvis then. So, go from a desert to a swamp. Sounds lovely. Should be nice and moist. Wait. Do we want moist? Hmm. Well, we got pretty much. We've been experiencing pretty much the exact opposite in Agon, so it'll be a nice change of pace at least. Pathway to Torvus. Beyond the pathway to Torvus sector lies. So he said the enemy is on the move there. Shouldn't doesn't that, shouldn't that mean we should go someplace that they aren't? Mm, just because they're on the move and they're there doesn't mean it's going to be any less bad elsewhere. True. Mechanism. Harmony class drone. Rogue maintenance unit. Roving mechanoid with energy-based attacks. Avoid direct contact. Also known as a pulse bombu in the previous game. Yeah. Going down. Oh, sorry. Let this gateway forever protect our sacred temple. May you find enlightenment and peace. Die, bees. So this is a familiar structure. Pretty sure we can't do anything with it yet. We lack a certain upgrade. Like, if you watch the previous game, you'll know what it is. go through here, so it looks like our only option is to go through there and kill some bees. I like, I like how you keep calling them bees when they're wasps. Do I look like I care about the difference? <laughs> What's that? You can't see me, viewers? Just imagine. Back in Dark Aether. Okay. Okay, so you definitely die in this part without the dark suit. Yep. 
because there's more Inglars spewing poison. And not a single light source. Whoa. Mechanism. Corrupted Sentry. Darkling... I think it's... Well, yeah, I guess it's Sentry. Huh. Yeah. Darkling possessed armed monitor system. Used by the Ing to protect key areas. Can be stunned by most weapons. Charged light energy will destroy the target. So I wonder, can I just destroy him with a normal charge? Probably not. Haha. <laughs> okay. They probably just, wrong. They probably just copied him from Ions. Probably. Like, you cannot mislead me into wasting ammo. <laughs> Vehicle. Luminoth Supply Transport. Unit designed to ferry troops and supplies. Unarmed unit composed of durable alloys. Left behind by the Luminoth. Oh, I didn't even see that. System <clears throat> system designed to transport kinetic orbs. May have been a part of a loading system for a kinetic orb weapon. Let me in, let me in. I want to ride the weapon. Whee. Okay, so apparently I can only do that one for now. Can I please go back down? Thank you. Inconvenient elevator platform system is inconvenient. Object analysis complete. Locking unit is part of a safety system. Release unit by energizing... <clears throat> by energizing nearby bomb slot. When all four locking units are released, the transport will be clear to energize and move. I wonder if I did these in the wrong order. Because if I do this, that closes off my left, but I already did the one to the right. Did do you just soft block yourself? Oh, it looks like I can activate them again. Okay. okay. Phew. This is a problem I've never run into before. My bad. So, I can do this one already. And then you go all the way around yep. through the other way. To do all three of them. Okay. And I have to open this one. Strangely, I must have done this correctly on every other try. Because I never remember ever, ever having to do that, where I have to unlock them again. I don't remember having to do it either. Then again, I don't remember this part especially, anyways. Alrighty. Let's a go. Can we let's a go a little bit faster, please? That's better. Okay, it'd be nice if you could see the energy source for the light and just energize it with a light beam. There we go. Also, I like how you can kind of see the, uh, like, the heat coming off from the barrel. It's kind of a nice touch. Back to the light world. So basically, we went through all that trouble of activating that lift thing just to get to the portal. Just so that we could bypass a door in the light world. 
Yeah, that's how it goes. Uh, guys, you might want to look at... Uh, oh, no, no. Oh, well. Guess I'll have to kill you. Oh, wait, I was going to do that already. Oh, whoops. I moved that thing without drawing. So, this path we're going leads us to Turbos, right? It should. Hmm. Wait, what'd you say? It, this path should lead us to Turbos, right? I think it's Torvos? Or Torvos. I think I made the same mistake when I first played it. I was calling it the wrong thing. I remember in, um... Super Paper Mario Thousand Year Door there's a village called Petalburg and I first saw it I was like five I thought it was Petalborg ah yes Petalborg my favorite place <laughs> uh. is that like the first place where you meet Coops or whatever yeah Beyond this door, the path to the Turvos Bog lies. Or Torvos Bog lies. I'm used to Turvos for some reason. A verdant land ravaged by a great deluge and the folly of battle. We honor the life that remains. Like now that I'm thinking about it, I hope I didn't actually accidentally say Turvos as well some point earlier I think you might have nah. oh whatever off we go to a new area so this is just taking us straight down yeah so we should be like underground or something. Well, we were in like a cliff. All right, true. All right, you guys. So I guess that it was just at the bottom of the cliff is the bog. I guess so. Hmm. Morphology: Torvus hanging pod, field cache for Luminoth military. Designed to hold crucial munitions and supplies for Illuminoth warriors. Some may still contain useful items left over from the war. Gimme. What? Where is it? Where's, <laughs> the, where's the goodies? <laughs> Did it just disappear? I don't know. It looks like it didn't even explode. It just popped from existence. Torva Spog. Look at all this scannable stuff. It's Lee's testament. <laughs> they came to the lagoon in the night, delivering true death blows before I could detect them. As my life faded, I sent a call to the cadre to, wa to warn of this surprise attack. May they find my key and dispatch the Ing who killed me. Only then will my final rest be peaceful. Hmm. Ooh, those things are weird looking. Torvus Beer... <laughs> beer? Bearer Pod. Living storage units of the Luminoth. Durable plant form grows around useful items. Produces deadly cloud when destroyed. Hmm. Morphology Shredder. Exploding flying plant. Durable plant form seeks enemy targets and flies toward them, exploding on contact. You know, these remind me of, I think they're called P-Hats in uh, The Legend of Zelda. Hmm. 
Wow, these are actually kind of durable. Yeah, as soon as I saw that they were shredders, I was just like, okay, I hate these things. I can't even remember what they do or why I hate them. I just remember I hate those things. Hmm. But yeah, they fly towards you and they go boom. Bridge currently not receiving power. Scan control post nearby to energize bridge. Structural analysis complete. Security gates connected to moving bridge operation. Activate bridge to open the gates. Hmm. What are those tiny things? Fish. Oh. Morphology. Hydlings. Aquatic miniature herd. Ma <laughs> Aquatic miniature herd animal. I wanted to say mammal for whatever reason. Targets travel in large swarms. Contact with targets can cause minor damage. Okay, so I think we should probably head here, and I think it's a save station. Yep. And we could probably end it here. Alright, sounds good. So, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.